like a cold cow, Uh huh. Put it in the refrigerator? Yeah. You want to put your camera in there too? No. <laughs> Why not? I'll put it out the window. Oh, really? Where can it go? Can I got to fit it down here? Yes. No, don't go. I can't fit it in now. The coke? Oh, uh. Can I lay it lay sideways? It. Lay it sideways. Yeah. You didn't want cream? You can always close the top one after we get through it. We use it at all. Yeah. Do you know what empowerment means? Empowerment? Alan used that this morning. Yeah, I, don't I didn't know, know what the It's a buzzword. I didn't really know myself what it meant. Uh, I mean, the way he used it, I didn't something that stimulates you to further exactly, thinking of something. Exactly. Yeah. But that's fantastic because that's exactly right, isn't it? Yeah. That's amazing. Makes See, things more clear. You're tricking me. You're very smart. Makes things more clear. That's know? incredibly true. Oh. You're very good to explain it. Hopefully. None of your church is out. It wouldn't yeah. be a disappointment if it didn't do that, would it? Well, I'm just thinking if I... I don't see many words that I... What is paradigm? Paradigm. He's really making use of that camera. Alan, um, where do you hide your strainer? It's very old surveillance. I thought it was in there, you know, uh, Ricky? I thought right. it was in that drawer there, you know? Okay. Ah. Uh, so you can record. There you are. That's Alan Ginsberg. All right, do an American Walter Express Austin. ad for us. Do an American <laughs> Express ad. I, I don't have my card with me, but I certainly have my credentials in my brain. Come on, come on in. No, just look out the window, that's all. Which window? In front of the window in the living room. Uh-huh. Or bedroom, whatever it is. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. I thought you were cooking a hamburger. Exactly. I'm doing that too. At yeah. the same time. Two things at one time. Taking pictures and cooking a hamburger. Uh-huh. What did you think I was doing? Beating my meat? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I thought you were making a, a making muscles in your arm. No. Well, why would I do that for? To show uh, what a strong guy you were. I ain't so strong now. Harry will be here soon. All I know is that everybody's got a certain amount of strength. That's all I know. Uh-huh. It's not, and it's no more, no less. Did you say Harry's going to be here? Yeah. When? In about uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Where is he coming from? Bowery? Yeah. There's a lot of backlight. There's a bitter. There you go. Yeah. I weighed myself on a scale. Guess how much I weighed? How much? 147. That's a lot less than me. Really? Mm -hmm. I weigh exactly what Vicky does, 97. How much you weigh, Harry? 97 pounds. That's all? I, I weighed 100 and a 
fifteen or something. Hey, Alan, is he less than you? A good deal less. Yeah. You want to hear a beautiful writing? Sure. Yeah. Well, uh, it's this thing. It's, it's, it's the Canterbury Call Society, and it's the first time I have recorded in an actual large auditorium where I had to set the machine down and it overloaded, destroyed the tape. I wasn't going to erase it and use it for something else. It begins, it's about, you've heard of Ralph Vaughan Williams? Yeah. He was written in 1936 and begins, beat, beat, drums, blow, bugles, blow. Oh, Whitman. Through the windows, through the doors, burst like a ruthless force. Now, unfortunately, I only began to record part way through word overall, beautiful as the sky, etc. I have the dirge for two veterans complete. Uh, you have it on your tape? Yeah. But uh, Susan's there, uh, who uh, Vicky was just talking to on the phone, and boy are there wealthy widows there. I've never seen so much novel or jewelry, and as at the reception, after the thing, it was just outstanding. The, uh, see here's Susan Bruce Smith. Oh yeah, it's under Susan Smith's compo, you know, it's Charles's wife.